So events are useful in decoupling your code. The reason that Epic moved everybody from channels to events. When you have events, you can you can very easily you can you can both couple objects and decouple them much more easily than when you have something like a channel where you know where where you have a set number and it's it's a bus. Um, events aren't quite run that way. So this morning, I thought you couldn't make custom events in UEFN and you could only mimic them. You can always mimic something like events with functions, but you actually can create uh, create custom events. Here's how. Um, the way I'm going to demo it is with a light that turns on and turns off. If you subscribe to the event in the event generating watcher, and then you use that subscription to turn on and off a light whenever a guard is eliminated. And yeah, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so, oh, I'm a ghost. Okay, again, so, here is why you would want to have events. All of these four pieces, okay, there's an event that actually happens. For example, a guard getting eliminated. Let's just do this, guard elimination listener and this says guard was eliminated logic which is um, when a guard is eliminated do this thing and then you've got do thing now each and every one of these pieces is easier to maintain and manage when it's separated Sometimes, okay? When you're building something quickly, which small UEFN maps will definitely be built quicker and need a lot less infrastructure like this, you don't need this. But if you're gonna build a lot of maps and you wanna have tools in your tool belt to connect things and, for example, accolades. So if you wanted to have um, all of your accolade logic here and you wanted to be able to listen for specific kinds of events and then have your accolade logic based upon those events stored in your in in a separate file that was easier to connect things to um, then you would you would you would have an easier to, a better time um, hooking it up with this logic you know with with everything separated for example so if you're going to maintain 10 or 20 maps it's a lot of work and uh, having all of this stuff in more discrete pieces will help you um, either balance the workload with other programmers or work um, or work on them in in discrete chunks. That's what that's what events are really good for. They're good for um, looser coupling of your code. And here is my little example. Um, this is the light toggle subscriber device, and this is the guard elimination watcher device. So, the if we look at this, the event is the guard elimination, and the guard elimination happens when you've got a spawner device. So, uh, this guard elimination watcher watches an arbitrary number of guard spawners that uh, can be... Uh, that, that when an, any guard is spawned, it will call the guard eliminated event. That is this chunk here. Huh? It connects these two things, the raw event from the guard spawner and the uh, event from the listener. Er, and, and it creates an event in the listener. Then we can have a logic function or any number of logic functions. We could do like 10 different things when a guard is eliminated. And that guard elimination in this case is the light toggle subscriber. So we've got the elimination watcher, which is um, bu -bu -bu -bu, which is a guard elimination watcher device, as I just wrote in my other code. And we have uh, on begin we spawn a subscribe elimination watcher. No, what we in, what we end up doing is we we await the event. So we have a thread sitting around waiting for each individual guard spawner that 
or guard spawn elimination launcher and everything launching it, which I think is not particularly ideal. Now, when I originally made, I made a video this morning that said you can't create events, um, and that wasn't true. Uh, you can create events, but when you want to create events like the st that are on the standard, you know, Fortnite creative devices, you don't have you get the subs you get a subscribe, and that subscribe is built into you know it's built a little differently. It isn't handled like this. And this is the code sample. This is the way that the code samples I found operated, where they, they, they in, in there, um, they create a whole thread, they spawn a whole thread for uh, waiting for this event. And then when they, you know, when that activity happens, they spawn a new thread and then they call the action. In this case, it's toggling the light device. I think that's probably, I mean, it's, it's Epic's problem that you're spawning all these tasks that need to be waited upon. Um, and that might be how the core devices work too, but it seems inefficient to me. It seems like it's not gonna, it's, if, if you were to do a lot of them, it wouldn't be effective. End of commentary on that. So uh, I've put the sample code in the device land repository, which hmm, you may enjoy taking a look at. It's a, a repository of all the test code that I built over over the I built over the six months that I was really active in UAFN, and you're welcome to it. Um, these the two files that you're going to be interested in are the guard elimination watcher device and the light toggle subscriber device. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to load up into Fortnite and test. And you note that when I eliminate a guard, a uh, a Light, the light in the background is flipped on and off. It flips on, it flips off. Every time I in, in the, eliminate a guard, it just toggles it, uh, which is what we were aiming to do. And yeah, there you go. Uh, note also, <clears throat> when I when a viewer eliminated in quick suggestion, succession, it doesn't really work right. That's something that I'm worried about. You know, that's why I wouldn't create an event like this. Uh, I, I, I just wouldn't use this. I would work very hard to make my code much more much more closely coupled. Because um, it just doesn't seem to me like if you put too much load on this, it would work as well as the existing events do. Um, and I would, I would just use, I would use straight subscriptions and function calls personally. But that does involve tighter coupling. Six one, half a dozen the other. Anyway, um, there you go. Like, subscribe. Ask me more questions. Bye.